Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are of course playing on Critical Mode, which is the hardest difficulty in the game, NBD. In the last episode, we arrived in Agrabah and beat Genie Jafar, the evil genie that had been released. We did end up beating him and in this episode, we're going to head to Halloween Town. But before we do that, I have to show you a way to level your drive form incredibly, incredibly easy. There's actually a couple drive forms that you can level this way. So in Agrabah, you want to select this right here, the Cave of Wonders Chasm, Chasm of Challenges. Right inside here, you want to make sure that you have a drive gauge that you are able to use, and we want to head right in to the Cave of Wonders Treasure Room. And you will find that there is a mushroom here now. We can press triangle to begin the duel, attack continuously, and do it, uh, and don't let his health come back. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We are not actually here to complete this. We aren't. Uh, instead, what we want to do is we want to use Drive, Valor Form, and then just go ahead and just whack him as many times as you want. Because guess what? He's not going to lose his health. He's going to sit here, and you can just keep attacking him. No big deal. Just keep an eye on your Drive Gauge. Keep attacking over and over and over and over. All of this counts as a strike. Because don't forget, Valor Form levels up by how many attacks you are actually able to do with it. So you just keep doing this, keep hitting them as many times as you possibly can, and eventually, uh, you're gonna level up your drive gauge. That's as easy as it is. When you get to about one drive gauge left, uh, you just wanna head back out, use the save point, and go all the way back to the world map, and then come back and you'll have all of your drive gauge back. So right now, uh, we're about, yeah, we should probably head back now. So we just wanna head this way, right back to the world map, and we can, just like that, level our drive gauge. I'm not even joking, it's that easy. When we come back, we'll have a full drive gauge. I'll show you real quick, and we can do it yet again. Here's the thing, and something that I recommend, is to actually save in between each use, because if, for some reason, uh, you accidentally get the big bad, the evil, anti-form Sora, that, your drive gauge is gone. You can't get it back, even if you revert, uh, which can ruin this strategy, and you're gonna have to leave and then fill it all back up. So, again, you just do this, ready, go, and then you just hit him and watch. I'm gonna show you how quickly we actually just leveled up our Valor form. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, this should, this should give us our, uh, another, another level on Valor form. But you can see how incredibly strong this is. And this isn't the only form that we can level by doing this. It really isn't. Uh, we can also do Limit form, uh, because of the way Limit form works, which we will be doing as well. Uh, so look at that. Just hitting him, just hitting him as much as we want. And right there, Sora was able to level up its high jump level 2 because of our drive gauge getting up there. Now, of course, Valor Form will level up a lot faster the more combo plus you have and the longer you can extend your combos just so that you can keep hitting it over and over. But just like that, we are able to level our drive forms. Now I'm going to show you how you can level up your limit form, which is actually pretty easy. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to do a whole entire video on how to level up your drive gauges uh, as easily as possible. So again, we're going to use limit. We're going to use this. We're going to use Sonic Rave. And we're actually just going to keep doing this until we get our finishing move, uh, which we ended up just getting. Then we're going to leave. That gave us one experience. You get one experience per finishing move that you use on your limit. Go ahead, get our MP gauge fill, uh, and then we'll come back out or we'll go back in. Uh, we'll start him up yet again. Hopefully he won't be he'll be fine uh, Use our limit use sonic rave yet again, and then we can go ahead use rave uh, and then finish and look at that We already got a level and then if we so wanted we could do it again because we still have MP So it's actually worth it to do this uh, and then we want to see if we can leave and get our drive gauge I might have pushed that one a little too close a little too close on that one. Let's go ahead and see oh We were able to get it just in time and then we can come back, go back to the, the Chasm of Challenges, or Chasm of Challenges, I should say, and we will have uh, five yet again, and you can just keep doing this. So we just got uh, another level on our limit form. Obviously, the next is five, so we need to use five more limit uh, finishing moves, and we'll be fine. And unfortunately, there we go, Anti-Form did end up getting activated, which is exactly what typically happens. Now, if you were to leave right now, uh, as soon as you leave the room, Anti-Form is gone. And so is your drive, which is which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And of course, leaving the world map and heading back isn't going to refill it once it's at zero. Uh, you could, of course, use your drive recovery and all that jazz. But anyways, I will have a video that is a little bit more in-depth on all of the drive gauges in a little bit. But for now, let's head to Halloween Town. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistance. Perfect timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. And we get Jack into the party, and this is a wonderful time to also put Donald's because I've been talking up his, his, uh, his duck flare limit a whole lot. So let's go ahead and equip him with that. Wherever did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But, if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! Uh, that was the slowest we're off I've ever seen, ever. Uh, so you can save if you so choose, though it's not a huge deal, because we did just arrive. Uh, and there's nothing really that we can look around here. The merry-go-rounds malfunctioning, all that jazz. We need to head into the toy factory. Ha 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 ha, the evil toy factory. There's actually a puzzle piece right up here that we can grab. And, potentially, because we now have our new and improved high jump, it is quite probable, and possible, that we can go ahead and jump up here? No? What? What? Oh my god, game. Yeah, not quite. I think the real way to get that puzzle piece is to go where the other one was and then use uh, aerial dash, which we don't have because our master form isn't quite up to snuff. Uh, so we actually, we actually can't get over there and do it. Oh, it's so sad. Sad days. That's okay. We'll get it soon. Don't you worry. Your pretty little mind. People throw rocks at things that shine. Anyways, let's head up here. Uh, be prepared for one heck of a boss fight. No. This looks good. No. Boring. This one? No. No way. Cow. So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun! Run, Run for it! it! 
So now we need to defeat Lock, Shock, and Barrel, which actually can be pretty annoying. So we are going to cast Magnet right off the bat and hopefully see if we can be able to uh, knock, knock them out pretty darn quick uh, just because they can actually be really, really frustrating um, if they aren't knocked out quickly, especially because of the way that you end up actually focusing on other people and not the one that you wanted to focus on when you you know started uh, but right there we went and got some things so we can go ahead target these this is what you have to do now is once you have them all stunned you have to target them with the boxes and be able to hopefully uh call them a day now unfortunately let's see if we can do this this is really easy to do once you get the hang of it and right there we easily get some bonuses an item slot for sora not a big deal where'd you put the presents we told you, we don't have them. Then why are you in here? We're looking for parts for the experiment. Uh, experiment? Dr. Finkelstein's making us a friend. One we get to boss around. It's true the doctor's been hard at work making something lately. Besides, Christmas presents are boring, not scary or gross. So what good are they? Yeah. There's nothing fun here. Let's go back to Halloween Town. Um, there's a lot of fun things here. This is Christmas Town. So, were those pranksters responsible for taking the gifts? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Then that means... Hi, Sally! Sally! Oh, thank goodness you're all here. Yeah, we're here. Just hanging out, having a good time. Is something wrong? The Heartless are back in the town square. I thought I th thought you should know. That's our cue. There's a troll in the dungeon. Back to Halloween Town. What is what is his tail? But wait. What about finding the gift napper? Actually, the Heartless were playing with some presents when I saw them. <gasps> Aha! We have all corporate oh, culprits. Of course it's the Heartless. That's why they're Heartless, because they don't have toys. We're going to save real quick. So now that you're saved and all that jazz, you want to head back outside and head, or first time outside, head to the Candy Cane Lane. Where, if we're really lucky, which it looks like we won't be, uh, this will actually, using this, will actually spawn a bulky vendor, which it did not. No bulky vendor spawns for us, which is too bad. Uh, but I do actually recommend killing these because, as always, the experience is pretty darn handy. Not only the experience, uh, but also just the uh, the items that these guys get and the drive orbs that we are going to need pretty soon. 744 experience each from those. By the way, uh, when you when you actually defeat the toy soldiers, that is a metric ton of experience for one lousy lousy enemy. But that does mean that you have to be in critical difficulty or critical health. Which is, you know, a little scary to stay in when fighting these guys. Just because they do do a, do -do, <laughs> a tremendous amount of damage. I would really like to kill you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we were right under the cusp. Right here, we'll have to fight more if we so choose. Uh, again, though, you could just skip all of these and not even worry about it. But again, when you have uh, the chance to get that much experience that easily, might as well just go ahead. Look at that. Look at that. Congrats, Donalds. Hit level 37. And now we'll find ourselves on Yuletide Hill, which means that that last area that we were in is actually not a terrible uh, place to level up your summons. So, head into the Hinterlands. We'll be met with even more of these guys. We're actually going to use a skateboard here just to go right past them, because we don't care about White Knights. And we'll skip these guys as well. This place can actually be really dangerous because of those Heartless. They are very, very strong, uh, and especially the new toy soldiers that spawn with them. Very dangerous indeed. You, you can here, leave Halloween Town by order of the mayor. Somebody, anybody, I'm only an elected official, I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. Why would Sally lie to us? That's so weird. Anyways, right here, we actually want to wait to see if we can gather these guys up. And then we want to cast Magnara, uh, just to keep them actually together. Because of the way that this fight is, and because of what ends up happening, you want to actually gather these presents as they come in. And you want to kill all of these guys together, or else you will be looking at one unfortunate experience, which is dealing with these guys right now, which we actually have to deal with. 
These are uh, called the Graveyard Partless. They're kind of like toy soldiers, except way, 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 way stronger. Um, but luckily for us, we did end up getting them down. Did we not get that last? Uh, looks like we didn't, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and let's wait a little bit. This guy's caught over there, which is perfect for us, because he's going to actually just stay in the air while we wait for our MP to go. I do believe he has the last, last present, though, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna wait for my MP gauge. There we go, we got these guys back up. These guys are just very, very scary. There we go. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, let's just go ahead and grab that. Let's keep him in the air as long as we can, uh, just to get him out of that, because not only was he caught in that, but we were too. Uh, and then that should hopefully be able to finish him off. And then of course we can grab the last present. You do want to kill those white knights as fast as possible, because once three of them die, those guys spawn in. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! And we get a present, the present that was stolen. It is beautifully wrapped, except for we just saw it and it wasn't. I was just sitting here brainstorming when all of a sudden I was attacked. Look at the heart from the previous game, I love it. I collapsed and when I awoke, my experiment was gone. Don't worry, doctor, we know who took it. Who? The Heartless. What, those wretched things? Preposterous, this was nothing like a Heartless. Not the Heartless, huh? Who else could it be? Say, I have an idea. The thief must like Christmas presents, so we place irresistible gifts about to draw him into a trap. And this miscreant is the same one who stole my experiment? That's right. How will we know for sure? Well now, that's easy. We'll scare a confession right out of him. Oh, some interrogation, I like it. What do you say we go with Jack's plan just for now? Let's get to Sandy's house, post haste. We've got to make some Christmas presents quickly. I love this world. Have you found the presents yet? Almost, Mr. Claus. We're going to reel in the thief with Christmas presents as bait. Would you mind if we used your factory to create a few presents? Presents as bait? Goodness, I don't like the sound of that. We're going to do it anyways, Santa. Don't stand in our way. Just this once, I suppose. It's for a good cause you chose correctly. All right, use the second floor and put some heart in it. Heartless heart. Save the game. And now that you're saved, make sure you're ready and proceed to the toy factory. This part is actually kind of fun. So in the toy factory, we can come back all the way over here. Again, we can't get that puzzle piece or that puzzle piece just yet because of stupid drive form stuff. But we can go in here into the wrapping room, talk to this guy. You're going to make presents, right? You can use this machine. Let's do it. And this is a fun little mini game where we need to use the cannon, uh, the cannon, to fill up all of the boxes that end up spawning. Now, if we are lucky, we'll end up getting big ones just like that, which we were actually able to get. And then you just want to fill these up as much as you can. Uh, and we can just keep doing this over and over. Of course, we do have to refill, like reload, right? Like that. Uh, and we can just keep doing this. And you want to get 30 as fast as you can. There are really large boxes that will spawn for us, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Right now, obviously, none are spawning, but that's okay. Um, and you got to be careful here because, of course, the awful, awful... Uh, lock, shock, and barrel will actually go ahead and kick presents away, but not this big one, which we will go ahead and fill up, uh, which is pretty nice because those can hold a, a ton of presents. And right there, we are done. Lock, shock, and barrel are just awful. Just awful. Can we kill them? Not quite. There's more? Don't worry. I'll take care of the rest. And we get decoy presents. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Oh, where did he go? So, we can talk to Santa, but, uh, or you can save. Let's save real quick. And once you're saved, come over, talk to Santa, and get prepared 
for one heck of a boss fight. Make sure that Donald and Jack are in your party, and make sure that you are ready to use rocket, uh, uh, uh Donald's rocket flare. Rocket flare. D duck flare. This plaza should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the crew. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go. Stop, Brooklyn! It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! So we have to fight this poor creature that just wants some presents? That feels rude. Feels really rude. So right off the bat, we are going to go ahead, switch to Donald, use his Duck Flare, and just do a tremendous amount of damage to this poor little creature. And then, of course, we are going to use Duck Flare from far away, and then we're going to use the Mega Flare Duck. Mega Duck Flare, Mega, Mega Flare Duck, Flare Duck. Uh, and then what we want to do is actually get a combo in off of, on him. Uh, and then get away from him as quickly as we can because we need to use kick spring and we need to actually launch that at his head Which I actually don't know where it is. Where's his head right over there? Uh, and now we want to actually go ahead and oh no We're launching it to everything that we're not supposed to be uh, which is unfortunate and kick spring right to his head Oh my god, we are not able to target his head. This is unfortunate uh, Now will you oh my god game? Are you serious? What is going on? What is going on? Well, anyways, we'll go ahead and attack. So you just keep doing this to actually break him apart. And as soon as your MP gauge comes back, uh, you actually want to use Duck Flare yet again because of how much damage this thing actually does. Look at it chew through his health. It is absurdly powerful. Use Duck Flare again, and then we will go ahead and use Mega Flare. And look how much damage. It is so broken in this version of the game. I wasn't joking when I said that. So we're going to wait, wait, uh, wait yet again. Uh, and hopefully be able to break him apart as soon as we are able. Uh, which we can't right now because he does have invincibility, so we can't actually do anything. Um, let's hope that he will. Oh, jeez, he's going to keep hitting us. And... There we go. Down he goes. Maximum HP increase for Sora. Jackpot for Donald. That is the most broken limit in this game. It does so much damage. We did it. The mystery is solved. Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm. The doctor's made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho!
and we get the decisive pumpkin the greatest number of combos landed the more damage is dealt leading to a strong finishing move this is actually a very good keyblade and is the one we are going to be rocking for the majority of interesting the couple worlds there so come after the this puppet wasn't stolen after all it ran away on its own in other words my experiment was an overwhelming success santa claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart that's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. You've given me the nicest present in the world. And I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! Uh. Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart? You bet. Tell me that, Sally. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? <laughs> oh my god so cringe halloween town is done and we get the trophy the gift of love Oh, how cute. How cute. Uh-oh. What's that? That big thing. Maybe that's the source of the weird reading we picked up before. And there's something funny about Twilight Town. I'm seeing two of them. Look, it's another huge energy reading, and it's coming from someplace near the town. But it sure looks like there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. Huh. So, that is actually where we need to go if we were to want to continue the story, is we would actually want to head over here. The Assault of the Dreadnought, Twilight Town, Hollow Bastion, uh, that big castle thing that came out of the nowhere? Oh my god! The world that never was. A battle level 50 worlds. Hmm... The world that never was. But we still have two more worlds that we can actually go to, not to mention all the drive gauge leveling and the puzzles that we can grab. We still have Olympus Coliseum and the Pride Lands that are still standing. 
There is a lot left for us to do before we head over there, and we are going to do them, don't you worry. We are still going to go back and do those worlds. But this is pretty cool. And don't forget, of course, Atlantica and Hundred Acre Wood and all that jazz that is still waiting for us uh, to, to, you know, get some stuff and get ready. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know so far what has been your favorite worlds uh, that we've actually revisited. Your favorite revisit so far. Uh, Halloween Town is super fun and that duck flare is just so broken. Uh, thanks again for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some things that you can click, including a link to Patreon.com where for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you again for watching and remember, never give up. Never surrender to that poor experiment that just wanted a heart, man. <laughs>